What's one little giveaway that you need to throw at every single time? Good morning, guys and girls. Good morning. I'm telling you what, it's still a little bit dark out here. Proverbs 3, 9 for February 19. February 19, 3, 9. By the way, my granddaughter Jordan will be doing the February 20 uh, devotion reading tomorrow. So be sure and tell all your friends about that. Share it with everybody you can. If you're not subscribed to the Catch of the Day YouTube channel, be sure and subscribe. Doesn't cost you a penny. Completely free. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the Catch of the Day YouTube channel because I'm telling you, this channel will change your life. It really will. I, I, there's a lot of people out there that will testify that that's happened. We got about 11,500 people. We started this uh, YouTube channel last April. We do a fishing tip, a scripture, and a devotional every single morning, posted at 5 o'clock in the morning. Proverbs 3, 9. Honor the Lord with your wealth and the first fruits from all your crop. Honor the Lord with your wealth and the first fruits of your crop. Now we know that God's got every owns everything already. So he doesn't need any money. He doesn't need the first fruits of our crops. We do that to honor him, to honor God. Dale Robertson from Oklahoma won the first really giant purse in bass fishing. Over six hundred thousand dollars in the Ranger Millennium Tournament in nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine, twenty two years ago. Still today this is one of the biggest payouts ever in the history of bass fishing. Listen to this. This is great. Daryl used $100,000 of that money to build a new activity center for his church. $100,000 of that money to build an activity center for his church. Let me tell you something else that happened right there, and i just share this story. Um, during that period of time when that happened, I didn't get to fish that tournament because actually I was working out in California and I had a conflict of interest doing personal appearances. And when they announced the tournament, I couldn't get out of these personal appearances. But Ranger hired me to go down and work for the last couple of days of that tournament, just to be there, meet and greet, sign autographs, visit with people, take pictures, all the kind of stuff that we do as pro fishermen. And uh, so I was there at that tournament. While I was there, when I got there, somebody came up to me and uh, the, before the last day of the tournament and they said, Jimmy, Man, you stand, stand to win a lot of money here. And I said, well, I'm not even in a tournament. How can I win any money? And I didn't really realize it. I'd forgotten about it because it was several months before when they had announced it. But if you, if you, if the fisherman was fishing out of your marine dealership, Jimmy Houston Marine, if the fisherman was fishing out of your dealership, in other words, if you were the ones that, that had taken care of him with his ranger boat, and you had to have a ranger boat to fish in this tournament. And, uh, this, uh, this is a, a, little, it was a little bit like what Johnny Morse is doing with the White River Marine, which again is a Ranger boat and Nitro boat and Tracker boat and several other brands of boats that are White River Marine boats. And the winner of that tournament is going to win a million dollars, a million dollars. That's a team. That's an amateur tournament. Dale Robertson, of course, a very successful uh, professional fisherman. But I said, what are you talking about? I can win money. And, and, and they told me about that deal, and I remembered it, and I said, how much, how much can you win? He said, you have two guys fishing in the top ten. I said, really? Two guys in the top 10? I know Daryl, who's the other one? And they told me. And, and I, I swear, I just can't remember right now who that other one was. I might have even had three in the top 10. But, uh, but anyway, they said, uh, you know, you get $50,000. I'd forgot, but $50,000 if one of my guys won the tournament. Now, you can only win one of, of the top five prizes. They paid all the way down to, I think, you know, 25000 for second, 15, 10, and 5, something like that for the top five. But you can only win one place. I actually had two guys finish in the top five. Two guys finish in the top five. But uh, during that time, I was, I'd made a, I'd made a, Chris and I had made a pact, and the only people that knew about it was her and I, and the preacher. That's the only ones to know about. We were saving money and taking, uh, having a building fund going into our church, Keys First Baptist Church on Lake Tenkiller, and I decided that I told the preacher, I said, I'll donate all of my winnings, 100% of my winnings to the church until we get that church building built. We're going to build it 100% cash. We, we decided, Dr. John Morgan, a friend of ours down in uh, Houston, Texas, that got Sagemont, I think it's Sagemont that he's got, and uh, he had come and stayed at our house, and he had talked to me about you can build a big church sanctuary debt-free, completely debt-free, Bill, it totally paid for with cash if you just set your mind to it and you rely on God and you trust God. 
We decided to do that at Keys Baptist Church. And so I just decided, I said, don't tell anybody, preacher, but we're going to do this. And I could tell you amazing story after amazing story after amazing story during that period of time when we were giving all of our winnings. And I thought that I might even win two or three tournaments, $200,000 tournaments. I didn't win any tournaments. I didn't do it. God didn't do it that way. Uh, and, uh, but, but it's amazing. And we've, we've got a beautiful sanctuary now that we've built. Hi, Daisy. Daisy and Beamer, my that's buddies. That's not Daisy, that's Lucy. I mean Lucy, Lucy, that's Lucy. Lucy, Lucy and Beamer right here, my, my, my Labrador, my Labrador. But, uh, but we got $50,000, and we that, that's a whole new story, but that $50,000 uh, went into that church sanctuary fund too, and we actually had Daryl come over and talk about it in front of the church because none of our church members really knew. So he, he gave $100,000 to build an activity center in his church, and he won $50,000 for me which went into our building fund. So it's just amazing. And, and I think one of the reasons Dale run that tournament. Here's what I wrote about that from a scriptural standpoint. Hey, you want to do a little sugar? Yeah. From a scriptural standpoint, to a real believer, giving to the Lord is not an option. It's an honor. You hear me? Take that one to the bank. To a real believer, giving to the Lord is not an option. It's an honor. I talk about all the time honoring God and putting God first in everything you do. What you're doing here is you're putting God first in your income. A tithe, 10%, another 5 or 10% on top of that is an offering. You are honoring God by doing that. God doesn't need your money. I'm telling you, he doesn't need your money. You are honoring God when you do that. Tithes and offerings, offerings are not something that you do if you can afford it. Tithes and offerings are something you do before you spend the rest of your money. The first 10% is a tithe. Another 5 or 10%, whatever you want to give above that tithe, is an offering. Keep in mind now, your time is a tithe and an offering also. You know, your time, your time that you give to the Lord uh, is an offering. The time that you give, as God would say, as Jesus would say, to the least of these, you're given to me. So you think about that too. It's not just money. We always just think of money, but it's not just money. It's time and whatever else you might give too. You might give time, you might give... You know, your goods, whatever. You know, they were giving, the children of Israel were given the first fruits of their crop. The very best, first 10% of their crop, the very best of their crop. I believe if we do not tithe, we don't allow God to pour out his blessings on us. That's my personal belief. I believe that if we do not tithe, we don't allow God to pour out his blessings on us. We actually cheat ourselves out of something that God intended us to have. So that's my belief about tithing. That's my belief about offerings. Don't know if it's your belief or not. Some New Testament uh, believers don't even believe in tithing at all. But it doesn't really matter. Here's our tip if I can read it out here in this dark. Uh, and I, I, know, I know what it said. Throw at any movement that you see on the water. Throw at any movement that you see on the water. If you see a little swirl, if you see a flash, if you'll see something dimple, anything that you see you want to throw at now, it might be a turtle, it might be a carp, it might be a shad that flipped on top of the water, or the big bass right down under him, running up on top of the water. Anytime you see something move on top of the water, make a cast at it, and a lot of those casts are going to come back with a fish on the other end of your line. Guys and girls, it's cold out here this morning, but this is going to be the just the second day above freezing. The second day above freezing. Yesterday, it got to 33 degrees. It's going to be cold tonight, down into about 10 degrees, but we have turned the corner on this cold front. We still have this beautiful frozen lake, ducks, a winter wonderland to enjoy, but now we can get our water fixed. We've been without water since last Sunday night. Hopefully, it's going to be warm enough to get our water fixed tomorrow, and I guarantee you, Chris is ready for that. She's tired of me. She says that uh, I may have to sleep in a different bedroom. I've never done that in 57 years of marriage. Never slept on the couch, guys. Never done it. To show you what a good boy I am. Guys and girls, have you a great one out there today. And remember, subscribe to that Catch of the Day channel. Share it with all your friends. I love you.